a lot of people are faced with this problem of, you know, how do you evaluate the level of security that comes with the system? No one more concerned about this uh, than, for example, the Defense Department. Uh, they have a lot of sensitive data. So they actually address this problem of how do you do security evaluation? How do you establish how trustworthy or level of assurance, level of trust that you can associate with a given system? And they actually came up with a trusted computer system evaluation criteria. This is work that goes back to actually the 80s. Um, and uh, this is called the Orange Book or TCSEC requirements, Trusted Computer Systems Evaluation Criteria. What you see here is actually, it doesn't show the color, actually it is orange. Copy uh, the cover page of that report. Uh, one of the people who were involved in designing that, Roger Shell, who signed it and, and my copy. Uh, so I just provided uh, you a picture of that. So uh, the, the question is, if you are sort of task with this, develop a, a set of evaluation criteria that we can use to assess the trustworthiness or security of a system, what would be those criteria? I think some of the discussions we have had, for example, uh, about functionality and how well it's done and so on, should actually factor into these requirements that, that we're going to have. So the orange book that I mentioned sort of captured the evaluation criteria and came up with sort of way to place a system in a division, and within a division, a certain class. So the four divisions were D, C, B, and A. Uh, the less than here really refers to the least trustworthy, and we'll see why D was the least trustworthy. And A was the highest level of trust. And within that, uh, for example, we division C had C1 and C2. So C1 doesn't do certain things that C2 does uh, for it to be more trustworthy. Okay, So this ordering that we have is going from least trustworthy to the highest level of trust. Uh, B1, B2, B3 means three classes within the division B. Well, D really didn't have to do anything. If you didn't do, think about your old MS-DOS. If it didn't isolate the trusted computing base uh, from untrusted code. Basically, untrusted code could hook operating system function in whatever way. There's no protection against tampering, bypassing it, and things like that. Division C, one of the things it has to do is do authentication and access control. Okay, Access control, uh, it only has to do discretionary access control, but of course, to do access control, it ha also has to do authentication. And if it does that, then it addresses a bunch of other things. I'm, I'm just sort of giving you a quick quick highlights here. Uh, but of course, you know, TCB isolation and stuff like that has to be here too. So that places you in, in division C. If you implemented mandatory access control, for example, BLP-like model, where that'll move you up to, to division B. And you could verify, use formal verification techniques, uh, specification of verification. If you went that far, then that's what will be needed to, for you to get into uh, division A. Most systems that we use that the security features that they provide, commercial systems that are widely deployed, they're basically in the C division and C1, C2, or whether they move up to to get B1, of course, they had to do mandatory access control. So we said SC Linux, for example, does implement Mac. So C1 and C2 actually depends on what functionality. So the, here it sort of shouldn't be confused by the fact that just we're talking about functionality with discretionary and mandatory access control. This is actually how well, isn't it, verified? So what effort you put into making sure that there are no problems. So it's how well you, you know, it's the code reviews you do, you testing, you know, pen testing, uh, based on all these, you know, do you have auditing support and audit logs and things like that, you will have different classes. But the main idea here is that most systems that we, we use uh, widely these days, they basically division C, some implement Mac features, and, and they get into this division B, that uh, B1 that I have. If you want to move up to B2, for example, what you may have to do is um, you have to, whatever security model that your system is, you know, uh, underlies your system, you have to have a proof of correctness for that model. Or you also have to have a spec for the TCB. Uh, it doesn't have to be formally done, but you have to have a narrative uh, specification of the TCB and what it does. Of course, if you want to move up to B3 or A1, we said that's formal verification that you have to do and that the TCB is implemented correctly and things like that.